Hey, as you can see from the background, I'm on the water here in Biloxi, Mississippi. It's a great day to be on the beach. We're here in August, and normally this place would just be full up with people swimming, and you can see in the background some of the boats and some of the activities here, but nobody out here. Nobody out here on the beaches. I drove the entire beach today. I left New Orleans. I came all the way across uh, uh, the main Gulf Highway coming down the waterfront. There was a scattering of people. Now, I know it's very, very hot, but you still would expect uh, 10, 15 times more people out here on the beach. Beach. question is what's happened there's no oil out here nobody's picking up any oil it's just a normal beach day you would think but a lot of people say we just don't want to come down to the Gulf South to Mississippi to Florida we just don't trust it we hear about the oil we're afraid of the seafood and it's cleaned up and I got to hand it to Governor Haley Barber the governor of Mississippi has done a heck of a job in trying to spread the word very positive message message compared to my home over in Louisiana in my home in Louisiana people are, are you know it's like the sky is falling. Uh, Chicken Little keeps hollering, oh my gosh, it's horrible. The oil is coming up. The seafood, uh, I think the thing I saw last week on the seafood was the state of Louisiana wants about $350 million to start monitoring the seafood from now for the next five years. You know, if I'm up on the East Coast, I said, wait a minute now, they're going to monitor the seafood for five years? I'm not sure I want to eat any of that seafood. If it's going to be monitored for five more years, something must be wrong with it. Well, there's nothing wrong with the seafood. I had shrimp, craw crawfish, the the crab meat. I had a piece of flounder last night at Galatar's restaurant in New Orleans, one of the great restaurants in New Orleans. They have no complaints about the fish, the redfish, the drum, the speckled trout, all is fine. But we've screamed so much about the federal government needs to help us more from the Louisiana side, it's just scared a lot of people away. It's a tragedy because what Florida is saying, what Mississippi is saying, what Alabama is saying, look, Louisiana, this is our waters too. The damage is being done to us. And by your hollering so much and demanding more money, which they should get, but the way you're doing it is do it quietly. Quit screaming if the sky is falling. I talked to some of the folks on the governor's staff in Mississippi, and they're a little out irate, quite frankly, saying, guys, we're trying to get tourists down here. Louisiana seems to be scaring them away. And you can see that true in New Orleans with the restaurant business being way off and with tourists just not coming down here. I can tell you that the beaches are great uh, in this time of year. It's a perfect time to bring your family down. The seafood is fine, all the seafood. They test it regularly. The oysters are wonderful. I had some great fried oysters last night uh, when I was at Galatoire. So everything is fine down here. I just hope that our Louisiana officials will lower the rhetoric behind the scenes, ask for all the money they can get to take care of this damage. They need to do so. But don't do so in such a vociferous manner. Be on television. I hope that our officials in Louisiana will be on television and say, look, things are great. Come on down. That's the message you get out of Florida. That's the message you get out of Mississippi and Alabama. You're not getting out of Louisiana right now. So I just share that perspective with you. Again, I've been up and down the beach. Not many people down here. I'm going to go on into Alabama here this evening. If I see things different, I'll give you a report. But I just want to give you the overall view that things are pretty good down here. The worst thing about the beach right now is the attitude taken by a lot of folks in Louisiana that they're being so public with their criticism and hollering for so much aid that, quite frankly, it's hurting the effort uh, keeping people away. And there's no need to keep people away because there's plenty to do down here. A little hot in August, getting to the end of this month into September, well worth coming down. Hey, Jim Brown here. Glad you're watching in terms of what we're trying to do, and I hope you'll come on down to the Gulf South.